plate of these Ukrainian dumplings will only cost you $5. But they're a little hard to find. Down in the East Village, if you make your way to East 7th Street between 2nd Avenue and Cooper Square, you'll see East Village Chiropractic. And right beside it, this blue Cyrillic sign. Head down the stairs below it and you'll find handmade Ukrainian comfort food at this treasured hideaway called Strecha. Meet the chef. My name is Dmitro Kovalenko and I run kitchen at Strecha. Strecha's not your typical restaurant. It opened 40 years ago to raise money for St. George Ukrainian Catholic Church, which is why Dimitro, or Dima, calls it a church kitchen. It's run entirely by volunteers who come to make pierogi by hand, or in Ukrainian. We say vareniki, yeah, but in some part of Ukraine they say pierogi. So boss is right. Dima starts by making the outer layer. I'm making dough. Then I'm using this roller to make circles. Then I put filling on it. Potato, onion, cheese, butter, salt, black pepper. I guess that's it. It's simple, but people say it's delicious. It tastes beautiful. It tastes, I, think, I tell you to the, the best uh, varenica I ever had. That's the best. My, my grandchildren, they never like my, what I made at home. He said, no, they want it from Dima. That's Helen. Like the rest of the women around this table, she comes by once a week to help make Vereniki. That's all women from the parish of the church. So yeah, that's like a part of their social activity. They like to make kind of donation to the church, so by helping here in, in the yeah, they do that. 20 years, like, what did you? 20 years? Yeah, I, I am here, I like it here, because this nice person over here, nice boss. Once steam is done cutting dough, the women help pinch each dumpling closed. It's the same like a, you have a boyfriend and he squeezes you and he kisses you. By lips. Pinch it, punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it so, so you make a perfect. Then they're boiled for five minutes and set beside a window to dry. Uh, oh, oh, don't let them go. They have to package pierogi. <laughs> Usually we make like a 2,000 of pierogi every Friday and then they all go on by the next Wednesday. Each plate is served with caramelized onions and a large dollop of sour cream. Super comfort food. Definitely gets its flavor from the caramelized onions, who's right? So it's savory and soft and silky maybe. And we can say that about all Ukrainian food. It's a little bit like sweet and salty, I would say. It's pleasure to eat, because you don't need it even thick, you know, they go right there. South inside. Very, very tasty. Along with Ukrainian dumplings, Dima serves three other traditional dishes. This is like four most famous Ukrainian dishes. That's uh, what people come here for. They always want to see those pierogi, the borscht, stuffed cabbage. If you do something else, they're gonna say, where is, where is stuffed cabbage? You're gonna hear it for sure. Although the kitchen serves mostly churchgoers, it's open to the public too. Some come just for Dima's daily specials, like fish with mushrooms in a cream sauce. It's like home cooked food. I used to always get like the borscht and the pierogies. But then once you started doing the specials, like just every single day. And it all costs no more than $8. So our price range is like from $4 for the borscht or stuffed cabbage and $5 for six pierogies. Okay. Have a good day. You're welcome. Dima left eastern Ukraine six years ago to escape the ongoing conflict there between Ukraine and pro-Russian separatists. Shortly after arriving in New York, he became a volunteer and head of the kitchen at Strecha. At first they didn't like me. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then the new guy, he's young. Like, we are here, like, we know what to do. You do everything wrong. And I, to be honest, uh, I was doing it a little, a little bit wrong. You know, it took me uh, time to get experience, to learn how to do it so they like it. The door, it was too, too tough for them. Make it softer, make it softer. That's what I heard, yeah. And now, now they are my best friends. <laughs> Dima's one of many who have found a second home in this little Ukrainian island underground, which fits right in with what Strecha, as a place, was meant to be. Stricha, uh, it's like an old-fashioned Ukrainian word for meeting, uh, like at 
place where people meet each other, which is like makes sense. And somehow, even thousands of miles from Ukraine, Dima's a little bit closer because of Strecha. I feel myself not being home, but I'm doing here something that gave me closer to home. And that, uh, I told you, that means a lot for me because I'm missing home so much.